Welcome back to Fox and Welcome back to Fox and Friends. This Independence Day, we're honoring American heroes. World War II Air Force Lieutenant Colonel Dave Hamilton is a living legend. Dave is the last of the Pathfinder pilots who flew behind enemy lines to drop paratroopers before D-Day. He is also a descendant of our founding father, Alexander Hamilton, and he will be 100 years old in three days, and he joins us now. Welcome, Lieutenant Colonel. What an honor to have you on today. Um, first, let me say an early happy birthday. This is going to be your you. 100th, 100th 4th of July um, Independence Day celebration that you've lived through. How does that feel? Well, I believe that that standard old saying, but stand for the flag and be proud. Absolutely. So you were part of Oper Operation Dragoon, Operation Market Garden, and the Battle of the Bul Bulge. Um, are any one of those, do, do, do any one of those have more significance to you? I'm sure they're all three amazing, but how, how do you remember them? Oh, I think I remember D-Day uh, better than all the rest. D-Day was the big day, and uh, our build-up for that, we were founded in February, Joel Crouch, Colonel Joel Crouch, a United Airline pilot was the commander of the Pathfinders, and we were formed at RAF Cottesmore. And on the, around the 1st of March, we moved to our own base. And uh, my mother was running a Red Cross club in London, and my colonel, Joe Crouch, said, I'd like to meet your mother. My men are working outside with no nothing, and the boys across the way are, got the NAFI, Naval Air Force food. Well, we talked to mother. I flew her up there, talked to the colonel, and in two weeks, two great big six-by-six six trucks came in. One was a donut machine, the other was a coffee machine. Mm. So, <clears throat> I'm sorry, I lost my train of thought there. I'm just so mesmerized by all those pictures that you showed. Um, Alexander Hamilton is also, you're a descendant of his. Tell us about that. Well, he was, as you know, killed in a duel with the Vice President of the United States, yes, Aaron was. Burr. And uh, Aaron Burr went through quite a bit of trouble from then on. Uh, I think he was tried for treason but acquitted. And, uh, of course, Hamilton was buried, and his grave is in Trinity Church in New York with uh, his wife, Elizabeth Schuyler. Well, Lieutenant Colonel, we often look at these pictures. We often read the history. What an honor to actually meet somebody who is a piece of American history. Thank you for joining us this morning, um, and happy early birthday and happy Fourth of July to an American hero. Thank you. Course. Thank you very much. We'll be back with more Fox.